guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a food challenge and it's the 24 hours eating only foods that start with the first letter of my name. So the rules, basic, you get the normal meals like breakfast, lunch, which I don't normally eat, dinner and snacks. I will probably be eating them in unusual time zones because I don't really wake up till late and I normally wouldn't have lunch. So I went to Iceland and Poundland at number shops while I was out the other day and I got some foods that actually start with the first letter of my name which is S and yeah so let's jump into this So those were all the foods that I managed to get. And honestly, yeah, it's not the healthiest and I only have like two drinks I can use because I only get like Sprite and sparkling water, but who cares, right? So I guess since it's literally 12 o'clock and I still haven't had breakfast, let's get on with breakfast. Literally, as I said, 12 o'clock. And the breakfast of my choice today is sausage rolls. Like, okay, yeah, it says pork sausage rolls. My rules, they're sausage rolls in general, so they count. So I decided on two sausage rolls because why not? We don't actually have sparkling water, but that doesn't matter because we have a machine that makes it. So I'll just do that. Breakfast is ready and I'm just gonna, you know, sit here and eat it, I guess. So for lunch, I decided to eat that at 2.30 cause I'm weird that way. Plus I only just got back home cause I took my sister to work and I decided that my lunch is going to be a cup of soba noodles because there's an S on the beginning of soba. So yeah, we're gonna have that for lunch and probably more sparkling water because it's that or Sprite, but I wanna keep the Sprite for my dinner, so. Made my soba, went upstairs. I'm just gonna sit upstairs because I'm alone right now. And I guess I'll just watch some YouTube and eat. I also have some sparkling water because the choices weren't big. I haven't had the classic flavor of soba before. I had the teriyaki one and the chili one and they're amazing. And I think I had the blue one, but I'm not sure. But the sauce, it smells really good. Kind of like teriyaki. So I'm excited. Update. This is actually really good. Like, I know most of my dinner today is gonna be filled with a lot of sodium and a lot of meat or fake meat and pastry or whatever, and just not healthy stuff. But I mean, it's really good, so I'm not complaining. I'm gonna start buying these more often. I guess that was lunch over. Um, knowing life, I'm gonna need a snack in like 10 minutes or 20 because I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to food. And yeah, so I guess I'll see you when I need a snack. So, like I said before, it's been like 20 minutes already and I think it's snack time. Um, so I have these squares and they're like birthday cake flavored. So I'm guessing it's just like a normal chocolate square, but with sprinkles and like Smarties. This is what it looks like. I mean, I guess it does look like the packaging, so and I'm gonna guess it's gonna literally taste like the chocolate squares because it is chocolate and yeah. So let's give it a taste, I guess. Does it taste like birthday cake? It definitely tastes like a lot of chocolate. The Smarties are really nice, honestly. They add to the crunch as well as the sprinkles. I wouldn't say it tastes like very different or like a birthday cake or anything. So today's dinner menu is 
spaghetti. And once again, I don't know if it's like fine to have this or not because technically it is a mess, but it's a meal. Cause like I saw someone do this challenge and they were like, okay, so I'm gonna have spaghetti sauce because that's the thing that starts on S. But I can't really pick out stuff in here. So I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. Who makes spaghetti like this? Like literally who put all the sauce on here and then all the noodles around? Weird. Okay, so here's our dinner. So we have a nice box of spaghetti that was very uneven and a Sprite. So yeah, I'm just gonna have my Sprite and spaghetti. Hopefully it'll actually taste nice because I really like spaghetti, like it's one of my favorite meals. Absolutely demolished that. Not gonna lie, I'm actually quite full after this. Maybe a tiny bit of sick. The sauce, I didn't like it as much. Like it tasted, it tasted like spaghetti, sure. But at the same time, it kind of tasted like lasagna sauce, like the tomato sauce and lasagna. But at the same time, it was like sweet and it not salted. And I like my sauce salty because I'm a salty bis. I'm just gonna chill maybe for like an hour or so. Watch me have a snack in two minutes. After all of that, I decided it's time for another snack and strawberries. So yeah, I decided to go for strawberries because you know, they're based out of an S and they're fruits. So they're healthy. The only healthy thing I probably have today and they're actually good. So love strawberries. Could have probably bought some sugar with me just to dip my strawberries in sugar. Oh, um. So it's the end of the challenge. Um, It's actually late, like, like half past 12 so yeah i kind of went overboard i was watching master chef with my sister all day and i didn't manage to have one of the snacks i planned on which was the snickers but that's fine so we'll manage without it i hope you enjoyed watching me try this challenge because it was hard not to have something to drink that doesn't start with an s or just like having dinner and my family having fish while i had to have the spaghetti and yeah it was just it was filling but at the same time it was kind of challenging yeah definitely challenging but i mean it was fun make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed make sure to comment down below if you want me to do any more of these kinds of challenges and remember to subscribe to my channel as well as click the notification bell to get notified anytime i post again and i will see you this week or next week with another video bye